What is going on guys, DBG here and today we're going to be talking about all of the new cards in NBA 2K20 for my team. We are going to be looking from the free Victor Wembanyama to obviously the cards you can buy in these four right here. And then the car, the gambling only cards. Apparently, from what I've heard, you can lock in Jalen Green and get Jalen Green again. Which is a little bit disappointing. And I would be quite worried about that. But we're going to look at the non-gambling cards first. And see what they are all about. So, for the non-gambling cards, the first card is Keegan Murray. Who actually just looks perfect stats-wise, I'm not going to lie. 52,000 empty. Uh, still very much overpriced, but... Sure, look, he's actually not got any flaws as a card. His release is only okay. But, like, Kyrie Irving, dribble style, Jamal Murray, uh, size up, pro 2 leaner. Guessing the Jamal behind the back. But, again, for 52k, you can do a hell of a lot worse than Keegan Murray. I will say, you can do a hell of a lot worse than him. 52k is still probably expensive for what he is. but And if you have, like, a Kuzma or anything, like, he's just not very good. But, at the same time, he's not... Uh, uh, you can do so much worse than this card for 52k. He's not terrible. Then for 63k, you've got JaVale McGee. Ooh. Okay. His release isn't good, but it's not unusably bad. For 63k? Oh, he's got no shooting badges. At least they did give him 84-3 ball, but like you have to find shooting badges. And because you can't buy shooting badges anymore, uh, it's... Sometimes some people are gonna have them, others aren't. You're either gonna have an abundance of shooting badges and thinking finally I can put them on somebody, or you're not gonna have any shooting badges and this card is gonna be a little bit iffy. He's got hot zones everywhere though, so I still think he'll hit the corner three. He's really good on defense. He's basically Tyson Chandler. Not quite as good a player build, not quite as good a release, but like if you're looking at just players as far as ability wise goes, they're almost identical. Badges wise. They're almost done. He's just Tyson Chandler. He's Tyson Chandler, but instead of getting 50 multiplayer rebounds a couple of weeks ago, you, um, you need to get... Well, you just need to pay 63k. Do I think he's better than Derek Lively? Maybe not. But he's not bad. He's really not a bad card. Like, JaVale McGee at this price is completely reasonable. Then we got Mo Peterson. This is not 6'9", Mo Peterson. Um, he looks to be the worst of all these cards, to be honest. Defense is very mediocre. Uh, he's got Luke Kennard, Koga. Ooh, Luke Kennard base is good. Is a good base, though. Like, I use Luke Kennard. This Luke Kennard was a really quick release. Um, Normal leaner. He's got the Harden Shuffle. The Jazz size up. He's not terrible. 63k, though, is a little bit of an overprice. And then 300k for Jalen Green. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He literally have been... I'm not joking. He would have been 5,000 MT last year. He would have been 5k MT. 300k on the 7th of June for a scrub. I'm sorry. Jalen Green, Jalen Green. I'm very quick. We already have this card. Okay, wow. Jalen Green, Jalen Green. I'm quick instead of very quick. The last Jalen Green was a scrub. 315k. 315k. Like, what are we doing, 2K? What are we doing? I'm sorry, but what are we doing? He would have been 5,000 MT last year. And that is not an exaggeration. That is not any bit of an exaggeration. He would have been 5,000 MT last year. Oh my god, like... Like, it's all, this is awful. This is awful. 315k. Like, what are you doing? Don't lock in for these cards. Don't pay 315k for this bum. Don't let 2k away with this crap. And the fact is, you can still get this guy. You can still potentially get this guy in your um, lock-in pack. Because technically, they're not... It says Dark Matter Plus. That is a joke. That is a joke. I thought they'd be like 200k at the most. Not 315k. Like, what are you doing? Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's basically the 100 overall. Um, The 100 overall of Kyrie. 
He's the 100 overall. He's somewhere between... Oh, no, he's the 98 overall, sorry. He's a 98 overall with a better dribble style on Giannis. I'm very quick. That's basically what you're getting. He's really good. Don't get me wrong. He's really good. But, like, why would you get him? You have to lock in 315k on a bomb to get this card. Uh, Zach Levine, um, good luck if you lock in. You're getting this scrub. You're legitimately getting this scrub if you lock in. Um, Curry slide, a mediocre release. Does he have Levine fight still? Nope, they got rid of Levine Fade. I don't even mind Levine Fade, to be honest. He's at 98, 7 speed, 97 acceleration. Um, very, very mediocre. Uh, his defense isn't that bad. He's 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan. There are a million better point guards you can get, and you can get better point guards for free. Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, with that release, I'm very quick. In fairness, Pro 2. The Jordan dribble style. The Curry, or the Pro behind the back. And he's not light enough to do it. Um, He's okay. Or he's good. He's really good. I don't know why I said okay. Like he has. He's pretty flawless as a card. Again. Like if this was last year. And this card was in the game. And he was 30,000 MT. I would be hyping him up. But the problem is. Is that he is. A lock in. You need to lock in. 315k MT. On a scrub. Like you need to lock in. 350k. On an absolute. Absolute scrub. Um. No, just don't. Don't lock in. Don't open packs. Don't engage with his content unless it is one of these three cheap guards or the free Wemby Um, But now we're looking at Wemby's. And, you know, let's look at the free Brandon Ingram first. I'm not going over him in a separate video. Um, he is the exact same as last year's Ingram. So last year's Ingram was 6,000 MT and you have to win 50 games. Look, he's not bad. Card and shuffle. He's got the... um. Trey Escape Pro. Okay, they kind of gassed him. His release is only iffy though. But, um. Look, for 50 wins, if you're going to get them anyway, you're getting a nice card. Oh, he's 6'8 now. Oh, has he been 6'8 all year? I could have swore Ingram has been 6'7. Six, six, Either way, doesn't matter. 6'8, six, 7'3 six, wingspan. He's actually not a bad shooting guard. He's actually a very, very solid shooting guard. So, like, if you can get. Brand if you're willing to get Brandon Ingram, you've got a good card. And now is the moment of truth. Like, is Victor Wembanyama competent? Is he competent? And obviously, all these victors are going to be the same. And I forgot to look at these two guys first. Scotty Pippen and um, Devin Booker. So, Devin Booker has got... He is the... He will be indistinguishable from his Dark Matter, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the Dark Matter got Kyrie. No, he's just... He's literally Kyrie dribble style version of the Dark Matter. Scotty Pippen already has a Dark Matter as well. And comes with MJ dribble style in his 100 overall. So, still comes to Scotty behind the back. So, he's basically the same as Dark Matter. And now, we are looking at the um, the free. How, how, why is he worse? Why is he worse than 95 overall? Like, why is he slower than the 90? Why, why? Why is he worse? Or why is he the same as the 95, or 95 overall? Like, why does he have Joe LMB dribble style? Why? Why is he the exact same as a card from December? He's only got four extra halves. These are copy and... Oh, come on, 2K. Are you really going to screw us like that? Like, my version from of him from... Most people's versions of him from December with better badges are better than this card. Come on, 2K. And I'm guessing this one, obviously... No, this one sucks too. If you happen to get your Obo Wembenyama, he sucks too. Are these copy and paste? Are these copy and paste with a few badges? He absolutely sucks too. That's the wrong Wemby to compare him to. Wembenyama, 97 overall. No, there's a little bit of a difference. You're not going to notice a difference. But, um... Yeah, he's not that good. Like, I was about to say you can get you you're able to get him for really cheap, but I'm like these cards haven't been gone below thirty seven kmd, so you can't really get him for cheap. But I'm guessing the dark matter Victor Wembanyama is a god. Ninety four speed. Yep, 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 yep. I mean they're the exact same as this Wemby. They're better than this Wembanyama. 
You, they can play any position. They get Jordan dribble style. Wemby on very quick. The pro two leaner. The Trey Young behind the back. What did this one have? Obviously, this one was the best card in the game. Probably still is. Jordan dribble style. Trey behind the back. Pro two leaner. Yeah, same card. So, yeah. Any of these victors are going to be absolutely elite. But there's just no point going for them because, well, like, look. There's just no point. There's actually just no point. You got 99 overall. Everything. Victor Wembanyama on very quick. He is indistinguishable. The 100 overall is indistinguishable from the Dark Matter. And what base did I give this one? Dyson Daniels base. Wow. I still think with the Wemby upper, it's not going to make that much of a difference. But still, Dyson Daniels base. If you are one of the three people in the world who spend your life savings in this game and get this card, you've got a pretty good card. So, looking at all of these cards, um, obviously, you just get this Victor Wembanyama. He's really easy. Uh, JaVale McGee might be pretty good. Keegan Murray might be decent. Honestly, spend 60k on JaVale McGee and ignore the rest of the set. And then if you want to and get brand uh, Victor Wembanyama, every card, every one of these cards here is irrelevant. Is absolutely irrelevant to the game. Like, look, you can you can match up to this Wemby with this Wemby at center. Problem is, obviously, Wembanyama. People are running Wembanyama. Like, will might be on Wembanyama shooting guard. Either way, like it makes absolutely no odds. Game's cooked anyway. Um, if you're willing to gamble your life savings away to get Victor Wembanyama in a different position, go ahead. If not, just ignore that any of these cards exist.